Hey everybody, Dan Monahan here today talking about the why and how of making a vinyl sleeve for your hi-hat clutch. So, fasten your seat belts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, two reasons why. The immediate short-term reason is it eliminates the noise of, of having metal on metal. So if you're doing any recording or you're playing quiet gigs, playing ballads or whatever, you definitely want to eliminate that. Uh, the long-term reason is... Uh, this metal that the clutch is made out of is much harder than the metal that your cymbal is made out of. And because of that, as the, as the cymbal wiggles around on there over the years and decades, eventually the threads on here can saw a, a, a keyhole or an ellipsis into the top of the cymbal. And that is evidenced by thousands of vintage cymbals like this. This is an old A. And you can see here that the, the top hole has been keyholed. And that is uh, that's from the hi-hat clutch. And this is this was repaired at some point. Somebody soldered a washer onto the underside to salvage the symbol. But uh, the damage is done. And that is not ideal. And it's a shame because it is entirely preventable. And uh, it, for almost no time or money, all you need is a roll of cheap electrical tape. Um, do not buy the $3 individually packaged roll of electrical tape. That stuff is designed to remain pliable in like extreme temperature conditions. So if you're doing some wiring, like in an attic, that's what you want. The cheap stuff is actually harder and more plasticky, more like a cymbal sleeve. And so that is actually ideal for this application. And I know that because I have no life. So... What do we do? For the last time, you put your um, put your symbol on your unprotected clutch here, and you get your felts on, and you put on the, the bottom knurled nut, and there's a vastly underused phrase if ever I've heard one, and you move down the, the middle knurled nut for, for the, uh, the, the tension adjustment on the felts to adjust how hard that clamps down on there. I like my cymbal to be able to move around quite a bit so they can resonate as it wants to. Uh, and then you get the, the top knurled nut is the lock. So you get that locked into place. Let's figure out where that you want that. Take it back apart. Take your felt off. And then put, put, the, um, put the bottom nut back on, which gets us to here. Then you take your cheap electrical tape and um, get this started. And um, I push it, so I just, I push it down into the threads a little bit. And I actually push kind of hard so that you, you really would like work it down in there. And then I, I sort of, I pull and stretch it so that it really works down into the threads and gets all down in there. And then I go around, I don't know, two, maybe three times. You don't want to go around too many times, though, because very quickly you can, you can make a sleeve that's so, so fat that it's going to be really hard to get the, the felts back over it. So after you've gone around like two or three times, that should be plenty. Chop that off. All right. And then just sort of smooth that in there. And then you're done. Now you have a now you have a vinyl sleeve on there. So that when you put your felts back on, um, this should be nice and quiet now. Nice and quiet and safe. Yeah, like so. And um, you know, I mean, over time that'll that'll get a little bit mangled, and you know, maybe I don't know, maybe once a year I have to spend another six minutes re-sleeving my my hi hat clutch. But it's worth it. Uh, I will say that Tama makes a clutch that actually has a plastic sleeve on there, and um, and there are other manufacturers that have. Um, this is ideal. The the there are other manufacturers that have an unthreaded portion. But it's still metal on metal. You still that it's still like that doesn't solve the noise problem. So the sleeve is the sleeve is really what you want. So so there you have it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. You can also shoot me an email at danmonahandrums at gmail.com. 
And otherwise, uh, happy sleeping. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.